Certified most accurate. Now your first worn five forecast. Well, good Wednesday afternoon, mid-Michigan. Quiet conditions for the remainder of your Wednesday, at least during the daytime hours. It's tonight in the Thursday morning, where we do have the potential for some rain and some thunderstorms, possibly on the stronger to even severe end. That disturbance that's off to our west in Minnesota, that's where that disturbance will first be firing up those rain and uh, thunderstorms, and then that will just be moving into our area into the overnight tonight. So again, the remainder of your Wednesday looking dry, just increasing clouds into the overnight hours. It's around midnight to 3 o'clock where we'll begin to see some of that rain moving into our western locations along US 127, continuing to move over to the east as we go uh, throughout the remainder of the overnight hours towards 5, 6, 7 o'clock in the morning. Better chances for rain in the thumb also along I-69 as you get towards that 5 to 7 o'clock window in the morning. Some of that rain still lingering at least through the remainder of the morning, but then by lunchtime we do look to dry out for the most part. I think the remainder of your Thursday actually is going to be dry. The model just overdoing some of that uh, pop up activity there. So really Thursday afternoon is quiet. It's just in the morning where we have that potential for some strong to severe storms. Now the strongest storms will still be staying off to our southwest. However, we are still under a marginal and a slight risk from the Storm Prediction Center. So that does mean isolated to scattered, uh, scattered I should say, uh, strong to severe thunderstorms. Also our flash flooding risk is isolated for most of the TV5 viewing area. Folks north of the bay also in the tip of the thumb really don't have much to worry about. But those of us who do have rain tonight, just given the higher humidity, we do have that possibility to see some higher rainfall totals, also some damaging wind gusts as that line of rain and storms does move through the area. We're talking wind gusts 58 miles per hour or greater in some of those stronger storms. Overall today, a high of 83 degrees. Tonight we settle down into the upper 60s, still staying humid as well uh, with that or with that more humid air mass. But then that humidity does lower into Thursday and Friday, spiking on Saturday. That does correspond with our next chance of showers, but then into next week going down once again, also catching a break from the heat. We're talking 70s from Friday into next week as well. Stay with WNEM TV5 on air, on the go, and online for more news and weather updates.